Where will your energy flow today? I was up this morning and uh, I came outside for prayer and just began to, to praise God for a moment. And like so many others, um, and perhaps you've done this before as well, you go to pray and you find yourself in some way complaining. Maybe, you know, just telling God your problems and you kind of slip into a little bit of complaining rather than praying. And right in the middle of my uh, attempt to complain this morning, God shared with me this very simple analogy. I think he put it on my heart and maybe I'm making it an analogy, but he, he pressed upon my heart. We only have so much energy, physical energy, emotional energy, psychological energy. And when we wake up and we have this amount of energy, it's, it's like a battery, a battery that's going to run down throughout our day. It's going to run down and our battery is going to run down. But through the process of our battery running down, we're charging something else up. It's an exchange of energy. Our battery is full. And through what we do, through what we say, through what we think, we're draining our battery of energy and we're transferring that energy to something else. So it's being charged up. We start off charged. We drain down in the process of charging something else up. Does that make sense? So we're giving our energy to something through our thoughts, through our speaking, right? Our thoughts, our words, our actions, right? Through our thinking, we're draining and charging up something else. Through what we say, we're releasing, we're draining ourselves and charging up something else. Through the actions that we take, we're depleting ourselves and we're giving charge to something else. And what I believe he was sharing with me was, we get to choose. That's the ultimate gift of God. The ultimate gift of God is that we get to choose what it is that we charge up. <sighs> Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for catching me right in the midst of my... <laughs> I mean, that's the only way I can put it, right? Complaining. I don't, I don't, I, I don't think I was complaining. I was kind of starting off my prayers with kind of what I need and, you know, why things are a certain way, right? So it, it had almost like a negative tone to it. And the Holy Spirit caught me. And he says, okay, you get to choose what you, what, you, what you charge up today, right? You get to choose what you charge up. You get to choose what you charge, what you give charge to, right? Um, and in many ways, through what you give charge to, this energy exchange to, you know, you're giving life to it, right? You're, you're, you're giving life to that thing. Through the depleting of your life, you're giving life to something else. So my point is, is that the, the great gift of God is the ability for us to choose, to choose what we charge up. And I get to choose my dreams. I get to choose the vision that God's given me. I get to choose the calling on my life. I get to choose the things that I see, right, that are not yet so. Right. The vision in my heart. And I want to encourage you today that you get to charge the vision. You get to charge the dream. You get to charge the change. Maybe there's a change that you have. Maybe it's not a big dream or a big vision or a big goal. But maybe it's just some sort of ch change that you want to see in your life where God is saying that you get to give charge to that change through your thoughts, through your words through your actions. That's a three chord strand, right? Even as the Bible says, a three strand chord, hard, hard to break. 
So, I mean, you can even put it into that context, right? If you gave all of your thoughts, all of your words, all of your actions to a given path, that's, that's, that's pretty strong. That's pretty strong. So you give charge to this thing. And so we can give charge to our problems and we can give charge to our difficulties and we actually give life to them. So they persist. They continue to live. They continue to prevail. They continue to show up or we can change what we <laughs> we can change what we give charge to. And so I'm going to. I'm going to end this video and I'm going to get back to praying. I'm going to get back to praising. I'm going to get back to proclaiming, <laughs> right? That's my three P's for the day. Pray, praise, and proclaim, right? Uh, the goodness of God, the greatness of God. Not only God, but the God that is within me. The vision that he's given me in him. I'm going to give charge to that. I'm going to choose consciously to give charge to that. To give energy to that, to give life to that, so that that thing that I can only see within me will soon be something that others can see. To bring forth that manifestation, to bring forth those things that be not, <laughs> but they soon, they soon will be, they soon will be. And so I just want to give an encouragement to someone who is either looking for change or just looking uh, to bring that vision to pass. Be careful, be careful, be mindful, be intentional, be strategic about what you give charge to. Your words, your thoughts, your actions, you're depleting and draining your battery of energy and you're charging up something else. So remember that. All right. Love you guys. Praying for you guys. Believe in you guys. Until next time, this is Travel C.W. Lynch. Mr. What? What? Telling you to do what? You know. You know how we do it. You know what we do. Get out there today with no delay. Where? There, 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 there. Anywhere, man. Get out there today and be why it's possible. Love you guys. Peace.